Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you the references. References is very similar to pointers but I but there is a big difference. Okay, let me show you. So first of all create a variable double uh, d for example and make it equal to 42. If you put uh, nothing after the point it means zero so it is the same and make a pointer a double pointer pointer and make it equal the address of d oh the address of d like that and make a reference this is indicated by the end sign this is the two operand operator the one operand operator is this so it is an array operator which uh, waits for a variable and it will give back the address of it it has two operands so one is the type and one is the name so the name is reference like that and equal to d nothing special here we just um, made it to d okay uh, and actually write them out so write out the d write out the uh, space uh, there for uh, actually an indirection operator pointer and uh, we write out the reference and make a new line okay uh, compile the program and run it okay as we expected it write out all of the same so in case of reference uh, you have to initialize it so if you run get from here and make referen reference equal d it should give an error okay and as you can see a reference has to be initialized so make it back right uh, make a function I've already told uh, in the pointer section that uh, one is why we use pointers is in case of big objects when you give them to a function a function uh, if you copy while value it has to copy uh, the entire object although this is not much in case of double or int but later when we use the user defined concrete types so we use classes and structs to make new uh, types data types then it could be uh, very mm, so it could take a lot to copy all of them and it will uh, take you a lot of memory but in case of string i just finished the tutorial right now uh, we have to actually we don't have to but we r really should give it by value by reference not value so we really shouldn't give it by value we should give it by reference because if we store that 4 billion character in the string value and if you want to copy by value that, that could take a while and it will eat your memory uh, and we use uh, references instead of pointers although pointers would be good but uh, references is better because uh, you can use references like any other variables although it will give actually the address so make a function it will return a double uh, and add the function name and double and it will use pointers so double d and i told in the scope tutorial it will hide this d so it doesn't matter 
I just uh, finished that tutorial too. So this is my third tutorial today. Okay, so let's uh, make it d equal d. We use the indirection operator to get the volume, not the address, and we just uh, add one to that and return. Uh, we simply return this, right? And we write out in a new line add and pointer we call with a pointer and uh, make a new line like that and uh, compile run and it will increase one what a surprise okay let's make this example with references. So we just put the end um, sign here and we don't use that. Okay. Alright, I forget it to change that. Now compile and run and the uh, result is exactly the same although it is much uh, simpler okay thing that i want to mention is you can return with reference to so make an end sign here and actually that is what you have to change save it compile it and run it and as you can see it will give the same result Although I can do it with pointers, so it's a pointer return type, it weighs a pointer and you can do in direction here and you don't put in direction right here because you want to uh, return with a pointer but you want to in direction right here because, you, because it will just uh, return with an address, you want to write out the actual value of it, okay? and. Uh, one thing I forget it is to change it to pointer like that and now we can compile the program and run it with the uh, same result and uh, with the references it was a much simpler program okay if you return with a reference uh, like that and give a reference just why not and delete this you can uh, i hope i don't forget to change things you can increase it like that it will increase what it returned save it compile it and run it all right we use the postfix actually this is the prefix operator to increase uh, yeah okay and uh, that's it for now i hope you have a great day by the way you can add not just reference but a normal variable to write here and it could change the value Although you should uh, uh, careful because the don't change the value if the user don't know you will change the value because in this case uh, if you would use pointers then it would be obvious that the function can change the address of what we passed to it but uh, in this case uh, as you can see we just give a normal d variable and but it can change the value of that d variable so if you don't want to change the value use the const I will make a video on that uh, and if you want to change the value by in reference you should really give names that uh, refer that it will change the value so add this perfect because it is 
obvious that it will add something to that value. <laughs> okay.